Hello everyone, welcome for this tutorial. Today we will have a look on how to texture a little robot like this uh, to have some nice uh, texture on it with just only one material like that. We will have something with a lot of details, different materials on it and uh, different kind of materials but it's only a texture and texture that will manage that and we will have only one material in the end so um, for this we will use blender and substance painter substance painter it's really a very good software if you uh, if you really need uh, to learn texturing and to uh, to texture especially for hard surface modeling like this little robot it's really really uh, perfect for software for that so just have a try it's really a good a good software and after you can invest on it I'm sure so uh, let's jump to our scene and here I have what I have in my scene it's my little robot before texturing so this little robot uh, you will tell me yeah but I don't know how to model it first of all I give you the file uh, into the description of the video and so you can start uh, you can start with the same file as me here and for uh, learn how to model this little robot and how to rig it maybe or to texture it in blender uh, I did a complete training session uh, and you can download it by Udemy if you want to have a look just go there I give you the link here the price is very fair they have sales now so uh, and my link gives you even a better price I guess I guess so don't hesitate to have a look uh, it's uh, 35 hours of um, of training don't hesitate to look at it it's a really fair price and as you can see it has really good ratings so you can go for it uh, in my scene I have here just an HDRI lighting and if you want to use the same HDRI as me just go to HDRI even and have a look here okay and you will have here the possibility to download uh, HDRI if you don't know anything about HDRI just look uh, my training or just uh, have a look on tutorials on internet you will find everything to, to learn how to light with HDRI so let's go back to our scene here so what I have here it's my little robot and uh, this tutorial will be in three parts first part we will export the robot like this we can uh, use it into substance painter second part we will we will texture our robot into substance painter and uh, third part we will we'll come back to blender and uh, render it so let's jump for the first uh, part of the tutorial we will just export the robot okay so we are here and with our model and we want to export it here I will just come back here with my normal yep, here node editor okay and if you want to export uh, no I come back here sorry and if you want to export a model here you really have to verify that uh, your model has a UV uh, unwrap, that, that your model is UV unwrapped so uh, here I did it for you if you want to learn it um, my training will give you the solution but you, you there are a lot of tutorials on internet too to learn how to do it but if you want to export for substance uh, painter you really have to make uh, this before and it has to be uh, everything in one object okay and uh, it has to be only one material like that and we will play with this so uh, if you want to separate some parts uh, after into substance painter it's very good to make uh, good islands that you will can separate after if you want to make different materials on your objects on your little parts it will be easier too 
and uh, now let's go for the export so to export our model we will just select it so as you can see we have two objects there and uh, here and um, we have the robot and our camera we will just want to export our robot not our camera we will export in obg and we will make two exports we will export our robot in high poly and in low poly so what we have here is just a subsurf modifier and we will say and and you will see it works well and we will say that our subsurf will give us the high poly model and we will have the low poly model without our subsurf so what we can do is just do a file export wavefront obg and we will uh, call it robot low let's say it will be the low poly version okay and it will be selection only only our robots and we will not apply modifiers like this it still have the low poly version okay and we export the obg so this one is quick and we do exactly the same but we will make a ref from obj okay obg selection only and i will apply modifiers this time and i will call it high it will be my high poly version okay so it works the same with Sculpt. Uh, with Sculpt, for example, if you have a low poly model and a high poly model and you want to export it like this, it's exactly the same process and that's why I show you this process like this. But it works very well with, uh, with uh, this kind of purpose and even with a subsurf modifier, you will see that it works well too. So now we did finish. Uh, if we go to our little here to our folder okay we will find here I come to my folder that one we will find here OBG the high poly version 46 megabyte and robot low 2.6 megabyte and we will play with that into substance better painter and it's the next part of the tutorial okay let's go we open substance painter so and we will import our little robot first so for that we will just go there say no and file open um, let's make a new and we will just select here our robot that we just exported so I will go there okay and take my robot low it will be on the robot low that we will do our texture and I will open that one okay and set everything as default I just put here 2048 and do OK. Then I have my little robot there. Okay, it's a low poly version. So um, here we can see that we have the 3D view. Uh, most of it you can configure the way to move into 3D view. Me, I did configure a little, a little uh, specially for me because I like the way I do on Blender. So I did tweak it a little. But uh, you can go there into Edit Settings and uh, manage it yourself here for the shortcuts and everything uh, here you have the possibility and me I like to work in orthographic view and so basically you have here a 3d view here the texture that we have and here all the possibilities of uh, materials here particles brushes textures uh, everything that we can play with this software already everything is already in the software uh, in the beginning and you can add your own images into it for sure so uh, we will work like that but the first thing you have to do is to bake your maps uh, with the iPoly model so what we will do is go here into the texture set here and we will just bake textures 
So we will put 2048, the same size as what we did put in the beginning. And we will just select our eye poly here. Okay, I will take my robot eye and I will open it. And then I will just keep everything as default and bake my robot textures. Okay, and when it's finished, I come back to you. Okay, everything is finished. So what we have now is our low poly model, but uh, with kind of uh, with a normal map and everything of the high poly and it looks pretty good. So we can start our painting now. The first thing you can play with if you don't know Substance Painter is to play with smart material there. You just have to click and drag, like for example, let's say I take maybe that one. I don't know and just click and drag there I wait for it and everything is done you have the warm edges you have the scratches everything is done already in the smart materials you can look here uh, the texture it's already very very good and you have uh, a lot of the of the job already done okay and uh, you can just select after this layer here remove it and come back to another if you want let's say we want to test that one we just go there and have a look how it looks okay it looks nice and you can change things inside after so how it works there here it's a layer system a little like in Photoshop you can open your group layer like this this is the material itself and you can play after with uh, by selecting layers inside uh, what you can do with it for example here I have the color of the steel and uh, it's here so if I change here the color of the steel you can see it's lighter or it's darker and I can play with it like that. Same thing with color for example I can go there and change the color of my painting. Okay, So it's a really really powerful system because it has layers inside like Photoshop so it's a little like Photoshop but in 3D and it's really really powerful. So what we will do, we will remove that one and we will keep that one for the beginning and first of all we will select, uh, you can play with all of these materials, you, you will see there are a lot that are very very good but uh, here we will play for our purpose, we will just do a steel medieval like this okay and we have this material so this material is composed by uh, two big layers, uh, let's say three layers, so you have the wheel here, okay, so it makes uh, the warm edges, you have the scratches into the paint, and you have the base metal here, okay. So what I would like is my base metal, I would like to be a kind of paint, and uh, maybe like greenish army paint, so what I will do, I will just uh, manage here my metallic here I don't want too much metallic I want big roundness here and I will go there and manage it to be like an army okay and we will say that we are happy with this color okay good and now what we have here we will just uh, can manage it like that. We will maybe just manage tweak a little the color of the wheel and put it a little darker. I prefer it darker. Like it's older and maybe a little less uh, a little more roughness on it. Okay, not that much. Good. Now we are happy with that, let's say and uh, we will continue to play with our little material and we would like to add um, a new material for example let's say you have here fingers and these fingers you can say already that it's not metal and here we would like kind of rubber or something like that but if you put your rubber let's say for example you take a rubber here like a plastic rubber I saw somewhere okay and you put it there okay all the rubber will be 
all the rubber information will be in my robot okay and me I would like only here so what I can do is just create a mask here and I will add a black mask like this all my layer is not visible and I will can paint directly on my surface to make it appear so if I paint you can see it appear directly but it will not be easy to paint like this because uh, I will have to be very precise and everything so I can use another system I will paint with poly here okay I have a poly system and now I just click and drag and you can see it's more precise okay but me I have even a more better option you can just here select here directly the mesh fill and it will fill directly your Iceland here so very powerful you can use that just a few clicks and now you have two materials into one okay I come back in my normal system of painting you can see it's like that so this system works very well for example you would like two colors into uh, or maybe add some plastic somewhere let's say uh, I take a plastic here I put it there okay and with the same system I don't want this plastic everywhere just some little parts so I just add a black mask here come back here to this section okay select this and just paint what I want in plastic okay it's just an example I will not clip it like that but just to show you that it works well if your UVs are well separated okay so I do like that I come back into my normal view and you can see that I have plastic cell so I have three different materials and uh, with the mask system I can put it everywhere I want okay so this is the first uh, thing that you have to learn with substance painter I will remove this plastic mat we will not use it but uh, we will paint into our uh, green material here so I will select it and open it and you can see a base metal here this is my basic color and I will just add a new layer here okay like this this layer will be uh, will be totally transparent it's an alpha layer but I can paint on it and I will paint with here I will go into my brushes and take the default art and come into my alphas and here I have alphas okay and I would like to paint on that layer like this so if I start to paint you can see it works good but what is good I pay I paint here and you can see here if I paint this way you can see that it works with all the crunch and all the procedural here uh, one edges and it makes it perfectly fit to the other uh, layers as well so what I will do I will just select uh, the good color go there maybe take a kind of uh, let's say something yellowish okay kind of all the uh, all yellow something like that a little more orange maybe yeah something like that I like it and now you can see if I start to paint on it I will have this I can even paint with uh, symmetry if I need so for example here I can paint I can paint right and left and with this system we will try to manage that so <clears throat> how how our alpha works uh, with control you can do with a left click okay rotation and with the right click you can scale it and like this you just have to manage it like that okay so I will add little details somewhere like this easily okay somewhere here maybe let's say scale it a little okay good the same here rotation good so here I just use wait it's here that I want 
if it wants okay it doesn't okay good let's go and we continue to add uh, little details like that just simple things nothing too crazy and uh, we will continue with others here uh, alphas you can use this for example for all circular shapes like this uh, so okay good something like this here nice we can go further and uh, here we have kind of uh, mm, let's say we can use the caution here make a rotation okay to have it like that scale it a little good okay stamp like this good and we can use whatever you you have a lot uh, to experiment if you want i will put just one without any symmetry there maybe just kind of big triangle like this okay good nice and you can see um the one edge is a scratch is a grunge everything is here so that's why it's really powerful with this layer system okay and uh, maybe just add a few arrows there okay let's say something like that good and the same here good and now our robot is more army style a little and i like this uh, i saw something interesting it was somewhere yeah i don't remember where it was yeah that one here okay just a little rotation to tweak it scale it a little and we will put it there okay and when you are when you are happy with that you can continue to uh, manage your material so there is another possibility that you can do uh, into uh, substance painter it's to paint directly only uh, normals and that's what we will do now for that you just have to have a layer that is empty by default you had this layer and this one is empty we will call it normal if you don't have it or if you did remove it you just uh, go there and add a new layer okay this layer here I will call it normal And into this layer, we will remove all the information except normal. So I will remove color, metal, height, everything. Okay. And I will go there into my. Hard surface here folder. Okay. Uh, into. Uh, first of all, I will just go there into my brushes select my heart here by default okay come back into my heart surface and then select whatever let's take for example that one and we will click and drag into here our normal information and now we can see that we have this normal information there okay and me uh, now if I just add the symmetry I can just now tweak it like this I will remove here uh, on the top the alpha like this I don't have any alpha and it will not blur the side of my brush and I just have to do like that and you can see that it add very good details into my normal map information uh, so this is really good and really helpful to add some details uh, in this kind of uh, hard surface modeling but you can see that uh, we don't have the worn edges we have we have only uh, normal informations but it doesn't put worn edges anywhere 
into our new uh, our new normal 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 map. And what we will do for that uh, here we have the possibility to add a filter here. So we just do a right click, you go there and you just add filter. This filter by default is nothing, you just select it and just go there and put here this filter there the mat fx detail h where and here you can see that it puts really what we want it's very good but it's not the color and maybe i want less so i can just manage the level there put less more and less increase a little the crunch amount something like that okay and go to the material and go to, to the metallic here and manage the color of the metallic to have something that fits well okay our purpose and now we have something really cool that is really good now <clears throat> now if i come back into my layer there and whatever i will paint with this uh, system okay I will come back to another here and paint there so it will put directly warm edges into uh, this layer now and automatically add the color informations and everything so it's really really powerful system too so now I just have to continue a little and let's say for example I will add some details like this okay on the side i will just click and drag put it there go there scale it and just do like that and it works perfectly okay if i do if i want to do the same in the center uh, or whatever i can i can just take uh, other uh, option without symmetry or anything but i will just continue to add little details like that I will take that one, okay, put it there. Good. We will can put this here and put this here. Like if it's it's in symmetry, it's very good. Uh, in the little part there, we can use maybe kind of shape like that and. You can see it works very well inside outside okay so now i have more details on it you can add here tweak it the same as we did before with scale and with control click you can manage the rotation of it maybe something like that okay here and here too so you can see it does a really really good job very quick and very efficiently so after let's say for example maybe just add some little uh, screws maybe like this one something little just for experiment you can play Like this for example okay yeah just around just around the eyes and whatever you will you will do it will work well with this system uh, I will just add maybe a big shape on the top like for example there on the top here maybe i will find something like this okay and then scale it good good we have something here now and maybe just with that one if it wants okay yeah it wants we can use kind of details here that our robot is not happy. Oh. 
with symmetry of course good nice I like that okay and so you can play with it and have a lot of fun just just to uh, to play with what's already here you have some tutorials and some possibility to add your uh, your own uh, your own here maps your own normal textures here okay so if you want to do so you can and let's say we are happy with that okay so now the work is finished into uh, Substance Painter we will go uh, to export our texture and to uh, manage it in Blender to do a nice shading and a nice render in the third part okay let's go now to export the texture you just have to uh, go there and to go to file export textures okay so we will export our robot texture like this uh, by default you will have everything we will export everything just to show you we will not need maybe height we will not need and maybe uh, uh, mixed uh, uh, the normal by default we will not we will not need it but here uh, I will just select my folder okay so maybe I just come there okay okay and I will just create a new folder to put my textures into it okay we will work clean and just select here the folder good now I have this and I can uh, select the size here of my uh, textures if I want here document size so I will just uh, keep it like that but you can increase even and it will put more details into your texture for everything procedural but by default I keep it like that to not slow down too much blender when I will do the render and I will just export it okay here you can see the export successfully finished and I can open my folder so here we have all the texture that we need we have the colors we have the metallic informations we have the ambient occlusion we have the normal normal map here this is the one that we will use we have the roughness values and this is what we will use in blender to create our nice shader so let's go for that and for this I will jump into blender into my scene go into my uh, rendered view with shift Z I will just enable here the displays of the screencast keys here like this you will have uh, the shortcuts that I will use and we will jump into node editor to manage on here material we will not use a diffuse I will remove it and just with shift A I will add here a shader and this shader will be just a, prin a principal shader that I will plug into my output there okay so by default it's something like that and what is good when you have the folder like this you can just click and drag like that and it puts directly the image here you just have to plug and it works okay good I'm happy with that but if I just do control shift click on it if I have my node wrangler enabled I really recommend you to use this add-on node wrangler I can just uh, see what's output there and I would like to add some ambient occlusion into my color information so what I will do I will just select here select my ambient occlusion and come back here okay and I will mix it with a color mix RGB okay but I will not mix it like this I will just multi multiply it and put it uh, the factor at one so I will just by default I have this I have this here 
after I have this here and with the multiply I have this here and it's far better you have all the informations of the ambient occlusion uh, here now so now this it's a color information I put it on the top like this good and now my principal shader looks like that but I have more informations to manage and to put into my shader here I will use the metallic here put it there and I will use to another one it will be the roughness and I will put it there too so now just we put non-color data here and like this just to put metallic with metallic good and here rockness to rockness good and now look at that we have almost everything totally ready for render now we will just need to add the normal information you can see here that we have the one edges there and the metallic uh, the metallic that appear but we would like to have the normal informations and for that we will just go there and select our robot normal on burn GL and click and drag and put it there for the normal map you just have to put non-color data too and just add a vector normal map plug the color into color and the normal into normal sounds easy no? and now look what you have you have all the little details that we did add with our normal painting okay everything is here and now our robot is totally finished you can go to camera view and do your render so I really recommend you to play with that in the beginning when you use substance painter with the first time so to use here I come back to substance to use this system with uh, two for example two smart materials add some uh, add here a mask to manage where you want this material and after use a normal uh, system uh, to add some details so it will work perfectly especially for everything that is um, that is a hard surface and that you want to add some details and some age it will be very very good so you can see the result here you just here you just have to do f12 see you soon